Hello viewers, in this video I'll be going over WTI crude oil, ETF ticker symbol, USO. Today we are flat, we made no movements up or down on the 1 hour chart. We are still in the negative MACD, I do see us eventually turning positive MACD sooner, maybe next week. And as for the 4 hour chart, we still have a 4 hour MACD, has not converged yet, but there's some support on the 200 moving average and on the daily chart. We also see another support on the 50 day moving average, this yellow line. As long as we close above it, this reversal is still intact. Uh, but we have a concern that we have a daily MACD of a divergence. So that is something to look at. And as for support, we do still see this trend line is still intact, as indicated, as long as we do not breach below it. And the next support, if this does break, I do see us heading lower around the price of $11.15. Reason why, we have a price concentration between August and late August. And as for resistance, I do see a resistance at the 9-day moving average. We need to break above it. And that resistance also coincides with past support. And since we are below support, that act as resistance for us now. So if we were to move on higher, that price movement is roughly around 2.6%. But if we do head down lower and break this tread line and touch the next support that price movement is roughly around 5.5 percent so let's head to the forecast model on here i'll go day by day where wti crude oil will head to the next coming days so we have one day out two days out three days out four days out five days out six days out and seven days out so which one of these forecast models we should focus on Ideally, the model that is the best match to the current trend. We have the current trend right here. And below it, below it is the trend that I believe is the best match to the current trend. And this dates back to June 8th, 2018 to April 5th, 2018. Let me point out why these two charts are similar. So what we have in the beginning of the trend, we, we average above the middle Bollinger Band. And then we proceeded to touch the bottom Bollinger Band right towards the end or right towards the second half or first half and then we proceeded to break the upper Bollinger Band and then once more we reverted back to the mean right towards the end right there and we'll see a similar pattern shaping in the trend in question so we average above the middle Bollinger Band in the first quarter Next, we touch the bottom Bollinger Band right there. After touching the bottom Bollinger Band, we made a complete reversal to touch the upper Bollinger Band. And then next, we touch on to the middle Bollinger Band right towards the end as well. So we have about, let's make this blue, and let's count how many trend we have one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. We have about four markers in both charts, so there's reason to believe that the trends and patterns are the same. The outcome and forecast should be fairly the same. And for this trend mod or forecast model, you can get it at the link below, sign up for it, for it and use it when it releases. So the trend that we just examined 2008, June 8th, 2000, yeah, 2008. Back then, WTI was up around 4%. So we do see WTI heading higher and breaching the 9-day moving average as indicated in the technical analysis. And here's the line chart that I compared it to. So we have the current trend and overlapping it is the 2018 trend. So that is it. If you enjoyed this content, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.